Eamon Holmes, 62, took to social media on Friday afternoon to share the heartbreaking news that his mother, Josie, has died aged 93. The TV presenter shared a poignant photograph of his mother waving from her front door along with the caption, My four amazing brothers and I said goodbye for the last time to our beautiful mum Josie this afternoon. She's at last reunited with daddy now. That is our only consolation. We loved and will miss her so much. Every time I visited her, she came to the door to bless me with holy water and wave goodbye. Now sadly it really is goodbye mummy X. Hundreds of Eamon's friends and fans flocked to the comments to pay their respects. Good morning Britain presenter Susanna Reid penned, I'm so sorry. Sending love, BBC News host Hugh Edwards added, love and sympathy. While singer Joe O'Mara wrote, sending so much love to you and your family Eamon. And Katie Price echoed, I'm so sorry to hear this sending you love 20. Eamon had a close relationship with his mother and once described her as his hero. Paying tribute to her on International Women's Day earlier this year, he shared a sweet photograph and pen, suffice to say. She gave birth to me, she formed the man I am. She's 93, frail, but her mind is sharp as a tack. She's Josie. She's my hero. He also admitted that he would spend Christmas away from his wife Ruth Langsford, 62, so that they could both be with their elderly mothers. He told Woman and Home magazine last year, We have this issue now, in that we've got a seed dividing us. We often have a dilemma of whether I go to Belfast, whether Ruth comes with me. But Ruth wants to be with her mom. My mother is 93 this year. It's easier for us often to be apart. Eamon sadly lost his father, Leonard, 31 years ago when he suffered a heart attack at the age of 65. Leonard was driving with Josie and their younger son Connor when he became unwell suddenly and pulled over on the road. Writing in his 2006 autobiography, This Is My Life, Eamon explained that Josie had managed to flag someone down who could call for help. But, sadly, by the time the ambulance arrived it was too late. He heartbreakingly wrote, at 65 years old, before he could retire from work and spend many more days with mum, a heart attack had taken my dad away from us.